This is a construction update for the week of February 17th, provided by the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. Improvement projects, Green Line extension. Contractors may be test pitting near the School Street bridge abutments over the weekend of February 14th. Within the rail right-of-way near the future Union Square station, sheet pile driving is progressing behind target and construction is underway on the new Green Line Vehicle Maintenance Facility building at 3rd Ave. Near the future, East Somerville Station drainage installation and retaining wall construction continues and demo of the second half of the Washington Street overpass is expected in the near future. Retaining wall and noise wall construction continues on both sides of the alignment near Gilman Square and further west. Crews are excavating soil behind the DPW building in preparation for shifting the commuter rail track between Sycamore Street and Cedar Street. For a detailed summary of upcoming work, take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. If you need assistance for GLX construction related matter, call the 24 7 GLX hotline at 1 855 GLX info or email info at glxinfo.com. Somerville Ave utility and streetscape improvements on or around Tuesday and Wednesday, February 18th and 19th during daytime work hours, Miriam Street abutters may need to enter and exit via Washington Street while crews install new drainage structures and pipes on the north side of Somerville Ave at the Miriam Street intersection. Contractors may be drilling test pits near the Somerville Ave Medford Street intersection. Mansfield Street abutters should continue to enter and exit via Washington Street while contractors install additional drainage and a communications duct bank at the Somerville Ave Mansfield Street intersection. Somerville High School Building Project at the western wing, crews are insulating, boarding, and taping interior walls on most floors as well as installing insulation and terracotta on the facade. At the eastern wing, overhead ductwork and plumbing as well as sheathing exterior walls will continue. Only one work shift is planned daily throughout the week of February 17th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Some deliveries may arrive before 7 a.m. to reduce site congestion during the day and increase productivity. Project officials are working closely with contractors to minimize noise. Events. Public meeting. Holland Street and College Ave Mobility Improvements. Monday, February 24th at 6.30 p.m. at the Tufts Administration Building at 169 Holland Street. This year, the city is resurfacing the roadways and sidewalks of Holland Street from Davis Square to Teal Square and College Ave from Davis Square to Powderhouse Circle. At this meeting, staff will introduce the purpose and scope of this project provide existing conditions data, and present concepts for improvements to support sustainable multimodal transportation and improve traffic safety. Public meeting, Hall Street infrastructure upgrades. Wednesday, February 26 at 6 p.m. at the Kennedy School Cafeteria at 5 Cherry Street. Join Councilor Mark Niedergang and the Engineering Department to discuss water, sewer, and roadway improvements planned on Hall Street. The Hall Street Infrastructure Upgrades Project will replace the water and sewer mains, reconstruct sidewalks, and repave the road. Construction is tentatively expected to start this summer, with final paving planned for the spring of 2021. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main, the city's contractor, is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of February 17th, crews plan to be on the following streets. Bailey Road, Berwick Street, Elm Street from Holyoke Road to Cherry Street, Ivalu Street, Oliver Street, Perkins Street, Puritan Road, Putnam Road, Springfield Street, Ten Hills Road, and Washington Street from Parker Street to Hawkins Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. National Grid, Pearl Street and Myrtle Street. This has been a construction update provided by the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center.